good morning to us. Actually, it's, it's already 1.30, but we went to eat. We found KFC here, and by the way, it, it works. You can stay there and eat. They don't have strict laws like in St. Petersburg regarding coronavirus. We are on the main street of Pskov right now, and we are heading to their local Kremlin. Let's see. Oh my god, look at this bus, it's since the Soviet Union and it still works here. Look here, this is Soviet Union supermarket called Rakieta. They left the name, but, but by the way, nobody rents anything right now. You see, they sell rent because, I think because of coronavirus. There is uh, dentistry in this building, by the way, and uh, many people from St. Petersburg, they come here to treat their teeth because uh, doctors, are not worse than in St. Petersburg, but prices are way cheaper. I did the same in 2009. <laughs> I came here to treat my teeth. Look, this is the present from Soviet Union. They grant the inhabitants of the city the medal for their work and for the fact that they were fighting with fascists and for taking part in revolution. What I like about Pskov is a lot of parks look at this and it looks like they started to take care of it because I spent here like half of my childhood I used to come here frequently and the last time I was here I think it was 2010 and it wasn't like this believe me finally they started to restore everything take care of it I see a lot of people with children and it's nice Pskov belongs to such types of cities which is better to be discovered by going on foot along streets because all its main advantages are hidden away from the main streets and the highways. This is the result of the medieval city redevelopment held at the end of the 18th century. Pskov is one of the most ancient cities in Russia. Nobody knows uh, the exact date when it was founded, but the first mention of the city was in 903. And right now we can see walls. You see these fortifications? The city used to have five rings of fortifications, but uh, now only three remained, and we are going to see the main one. Pskov is like one of the centers of uh, Russian Orthodox Church, so it has, I think, almost 40 churches inside the city. Look, here is one, and here is another one. Did you notice one thing? All churches in Russia, they must stand on the hill, because they must be higher than other buildings in the city, so people will be able to see them. Pskov has many temples met along the entire road of the walk. They are divided into ancient temples aged almost 900 years in so-called remakes, whose age ranges from 200 to 300 years. Many of them are included in UNESCO list. guys this is the monument to great Olga Olga she was the first Russian who accepted Christianity and the Orthodox Church uh, consider her as saint right now Olga she was the wife of the ruler of Russia at the time and she was from average people she wasn't from monarchy or something like that and uh, thanks to her you see the Kremlin there the fortification of Kremlin was built. Here is one interesting fact about Russian Orthodox Church. Uh, they 
like to make saints from everybody who rules the country. They believe that um, monarch or tsar or whomever rules the country is saint, like he was put by God. So most of monarchs, they are saints in our church. And whenever you visit a uh, cathedral or church, you will see the portraits or icons of Russian rulers. I won't be shocked if they will put Putin one day in church. Actually, they did it already in the new church in Moscow. Quite interesting. Look, Lenin and church. Guys, if you want to feel real Russia, you should go somewhere like Pskov. You see real Russian architecture and you will feel the spirit of Russia exactly. Not St. Petersburg, not Moscow. <sighs> go to small towns. And we are on the main square and of course there is Lenin. I told you before that there is no any single city in Russia without Lenin. <laughs> I was not lying. And this is the um, university for teachers. One of my mom's friends in village finished this university and she works in Belarus right now. I decided to check souvenirs. Moskov was mentioned for the first time in the tale of bygone years, the earliest extant ancient Russian chronicle dating from the beginning of the 12th century. Up to the beginning of the 18th century, Pskov was one of the largest cities, not only in Russia, but also in Europe. We are in Pskov Kremlin. Yeah, Kremlin is not only in Moscow. It's uh, in many, many other cities, and I'm gonna show you by time other Kremlins. This one is one of the most ancient in Russia. So let's have a look. In front of the southern side of the Pskov Krom, there is a nation, Dovmontov's town. Only the temple's bases remain from this town, but it led you to understand the building density in the 15th century. This is new. This is Jesus Christ. And this one is also new, actually. When I was young, there were no these things. Just let you understand the size of it. <laughs> Look at the girl and this thing. And Asia. Over the centuries long history, the city experienced a lot of fights and battles, but was captured only once and occupied twice during the First and Second World War. But later, when the St. Petersburg was founded, Pskov lost its importance. Today, Pskov is the largest stone fortress in Europe and one of the most important tourist centers in Russia. My great-grandma used to have the same one. Here is the only surviving administration building of 17th century, Prikaznaya Chamber, Prikaznaya Palata, with a constant exposition on administration managerial control of the 17th century, which is quite unique. The most part of subjects here comes from the territory of Pskov. Look at the size of this stove. That stove, heater. Russian bear. Да что ты боишься, пошли. Он не живой. Иди сюда. We are very unlucky. Uh, we came and the weather is, you see, rainy so much. Rain, thunder, and lightning. 
Here is the heart of Pskov Kremlin, Trinity Cathedral. It's said that Kniginia Olga specifically chose this place for the cathedral in the 10th century because when she was looking at the virgin forests of Pskov, she saw three sun rays coming from heaven and illuminating the site where Trinity Cathedral now stands. She brought a lot of gold and silver from Kiev to build the first wooden cathedral here. The whole story is impressive because you need to consider that Christianity wasn't a state religion at that time. The cathedral contains shrines of two 13th century heroes of Pskov, St. Sivilot, Gabriel, the first prince of Pskov, and Prince Davmont. This is quite interesting. You see a uh, cathedral, and in front of cathedral, somebody is playing rock. And it's private cafe, so this is how they earn money. At this place, I feel like I am in the middle centuries. My God! For Russia, Pskov was a trade and defensive center. Its fortress, consisting of five defensive rings, made the city impregnable. Oh my god, look at these guys, look at this. Real Russian view, oh my god. This is the place for taking photos, definitely. We are lucky that we could shoot uh, almost everything we wanted. Uh, <laughs> right now you see the weather is changing and it's becoming cold to see the clouds. And look at Pskov Kremlin. Very big walls and you need to climb just to reach these walls. And you need to swim before that. <laughs> No wonder this uh, castle was never, almost never taken. They were taken only once in their life. Mm -hmm. 